traveling around the world for the past three or four weeks and then coming back to Thailand and then coming back to Bangkok. It may all sound exotic and everything, but it's extremely exhausting. Where I know I'm just going, I have to just chill. Which brings me to this point. When traveling, the difficulties with communication. Let me explain. <laughs> Look at this outrageous rig. Hmm. Okay, redundancies are now in place. Again, I don't know why it's not turning off. It has to turn off before I can turn it back on. Okay, I'll be right back. So the GoPro session's not working again. It, it lost everything I just did, so I'm just gonna have to start all over again. What I was saying was, I changed the channel art. I really want to know how you guys think about it, what you think about it. And uh, so go there, check it out. Let me know in the comments if you like it or not, or what you could do. The reason that the last video was so shaky was the session is more rigid than the black. So when I was doing the filming, it's a lot more jerky and I apologize for that. I will either get better with the session or if the session keeps not working, we won't have to worry about that. Um, as for your comment, as for your comment, Eddie, about me getting a better camera, a Sony with a with the shake, everything, I would love that. So if you want to send me one of those, I will use it as soon as it gets here because I can't afford one of those cameras. So I wanted to address today. I wanted to address while well, I was on my trip to Bangkok. I, I there was a comment made from one of my Patreons that uh, I didn't respond to their comments. And if you don't know what a Patreon is, a Patreon is my support. Patreons support the channel and keep the channel running. The channel will be one year old in September and it's because of the Patreons that you get to see me. So thank you Patreons, I love you guys. Call out the name shouts, coming up, coming up. And it turned back on by itself and it just started filming by itself. But what I wanted to share with everybody is love to communicate with my subscribers. I love to communicate with my subscribers. Everybody wants to. And in the beginning it's relative, relatively easy that you can have you know, 200, 300 comments and, and, and try to respond to them. On my YouTube channel, I look at 98% of every comment that's ever done on the, not just the current videos, but even on the past videos, I keep abreast on, I really do. I either give you a thumbs up or at least I read it. If it's negative, I still read it. If it's positive, I try to say a thank you. Um, but eventually that's gonna be, you know, overwhelming. So what I wanted to talk about today was, how much communication I get and how you can get in touch with me better or quicker if that's really something that you want to do. I want to explain going forward, this is not an excuse, but this is the truth. On the YouTube channel, there are two ways to contact, two ways to contact me. You have comments and then you have messages. On my Facebook account, you have comments and then you have messages. And then on my second Facebook account, on my personal Facebook account, you have message, Messenger. On my Patreon website, there are comments and messages. I have my personal email account, and then I also have the 20 Seconds in Thailand email account. I do not get notifications a lot of times from YouTube. I do not get a lot of notifications sometimes on comments from Patreon. So. Here's the hierarchy of how to get in touch with me if you really want to, because I really do appreciate your comments. When I get a message from you on Patreon, it is always a reply. It is never just read and forgotten. There's always a reply, usually within 24 hours. If I'm traveling, maybe 48. That always gets it. If there's a comment on Patreon, I sometimes don't get any kind of notification saying that there's a comment other than a little check mark on the website. My definition of a comment, generally speaking, is it's either a suggestion or a critique or just something that someone just wanted to say like, hey, why don't you go to Vietnam? I'm saying, yeah, I might want to go to Vietnam. But if you send me a message saying, hey, Rob, 
why don't you come to Vietnam? I will answer you back and I'll tell you whether I'm planning on it or not. That's a message. One's a comment, one's a message. On YouTube, you see all the comments and I respond to some. I don't respond to all because they're comments. Some of you say, hey, good job. I say thank you. Some of you say, hey, this is terrible. And I, oh, okay. On the 20 Seconds in Thailand Facebook page, you can leave messages there. The problem with these words on that is there is no notification for me at all. I never get an email saying, hey, you have a message on Facebook. So I try to respond to those several times a week. And they sneak up on me, so I apologize. That is not the best way to get in touch with me. The messages on Facebook, 20 seconds in Thailand, is not the best way to get in touch with me. The message you send me on a personal, on my personal Facebook page, that gets to me, but you have to understand a lot of times I may be out or at dinner or with friends or something and I can't respond instantly even though it's an instant message. So it does get to me, but sometimes it gets lost in the shuffle because maybe I'm just out with a group of friends or, or the phone's turned off. Mind you, this is an iPhone 4. It is not state-of-the-art technology and sometimes it doesn't do what I want it to do. But the point of all this is, is I, I lost a Patreon and I just wanted to explain how my mind works with comments. I, I feel that comments are just a statement from a subscriber or from a viewer or an email. Send me an email. I get the emails. It won't turn off. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Goody goody, don't Go forget that. Goody goody. La if life is good, it's good. If life is better and good, it's goody goody. If you've had the GoPro session and you've ever had the trouble with it just um, not turning off, will not power down, and then once you do get it powered down, it loses the last file that's in it, uh, let me know in the comments how you resolved it or what you did. The only thing that's a thought in my mind is is that I'm using an ultra card and not an extreme card. Maybe that might be part of the issue. See, it just stopped coming again. And now it's stuck.